Yes, there is a loop. There's a loop of this for 15 minutes on YouTube. Another one. Another one. Another one. That was that was terrible. <laughs> Apparently, it's supposed to pump you up if you're in the gym doing push-ups. Anyways, we're back in with another one of these low carb keto friendly cookie recipes. Today's recipe is a double chocolate chocolate chip cream cheese cookie recipe that only has two and a half grams of net carbs per cookie. If you love chocolate, you are bound to love this recipe because it's absolutely packed with chocolate. So that being said, let's get into this one and make these cookies guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Next, you wanna take out a very large bowl, your food scale and some coconut flour and weigh out a cup and a half or around 200 grams of the coconut flour into the bowl. Next, we're gonna sweeten things up with some granulated erythritol. The reason why we're using erythritol is because it's a zero calorie, zero net carb sweetener. Today, I'm using Swerve's granulated erythritol. If you wanna pick some up, there's a link in the video description below, but we're gonna be adding two thirds of a cup or around 100 grams of the erythritol to our large bowl, as well as a quarter cup of some unsweetened cocoa powder. And we're also gonna be adding some sugar-free chocolate chips. My personal favorite is Lily's chocolate chips. If you can find these in your grocery store, totally pick them up, but if you can't, there's a link to grab some in the video description below. Every serving only has two grams of net carbs and they are so good, guys. So we're also gonna be adding a heaping third of a cup of those sugar-free chocolate chips to our bowl as well. So now at this point, we're just gonna add a quick pinch of salt. And once you've added the salt, you wanna get out your whisk and whiskify all those ingredients together until the cocoa powder mixes in with all the other ingredients and everything looks chocolatey in that bowl. Once that happens, we're gonna set that bowl aside and we are gonna start working on our wet ingredients. So our first order of business is gonna be getting out a stick of butter that's been sitting at room temperature for a little bit. We're gonna cubify that into four or five cubes and then add that to an even larger bowl that we use for our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna start prepping our cream cheese. We're gonna be using an entire brick, eight ounces or 112 grams of full fat cream cheese in the recipe. And once we've added the cream cheese, we're gonna add three large eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now at this point, we're all set to get our hand mixer out and start mixing all those ingredients together until a thick, smooth, and creamy batter starts to form in there. What you want is all of the cream cheese to dissolve with all the other ingredients. And when that's looking good, we can get our dry ingredients back out add those into the bowl along with a teaspoon of baking powder and then we're all set to get our spatula out and start mixing all those ingredients together until a thick crumbly consistency starts to form in the bowl. When everything is crumbly in there, that's when you wanna start using your hands and start working those crumbles into a ball of dough. And it's probably gonna take a couple of minutes for that ball of dough to form, but just be patient, keep working it with your hands and eventually you will have a sizable ball of cookie dough. All right, so now that we've got our ball of cookie dough, what we're gonna do is take out our cookie scoop and scoop out 30 equal size cookies onto two baking sheets lined with parchment paper. We're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes, but just keep your eye on them because they can bake quickly. And once they come out of the oven, we're gonna let them set and cool completely in the tray itself. And while they're setting and cooling, what I like to do is take out a spoon and just press them down with the bottom of the spoon just to help give them that classic cookie shape. And when they're done cooling completely, add them to a plate, grab a glass of milk, and as always, enjoy guys. All right, so that's today's cookie recipe. I hope you guys give these a shot. I hope you enjoy them. If you want the full written out recipe or the metric measurements, those are listed in the video description below. Also down there are links to all the products that I used to make the cookies today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these and I will see you in the next recipe.